In many village and district of Onko Archaeological Park, the work of a blacksmith is still a very popular choice among the Cambodian people. In Cambodia, the tradition of graphing everyday objects can vary from one location to another. In the same manner, the name of those objects can also vary in accordance to the location where they are made. One of the interesting points is that blacksmith and villager working and living in the Onko area often utilize and call this particular lot traditional knife as ke. Based on its function, ke is quite similar to a mi When talking about the characteristic of this traditional heavy duty cutlery, the blade is created out of forged iron. The handle is made out of a slightly curved bamboo plant intertwined with mental strap as well as small weight further tighten the iron blade to the bamboo handle. It should be noted that people around the Onko area they use kea for their everyday activity such as cutting and clearing forests and small bushes around their house or farmland. If we are to take a look at the carving on the base relief on different temples in Simbri province, especially the Onko Wat Temple and the Bayuan Temple, one of the military weapons used in ancient period strongly resembled that of a pke. Therefore, the tradition and knowledge of how to make use of this ancient equipment does seem to be vividly clear in the mind of the people in this area. ចាប់ធ្វើពីបាទចាប់ <coughs> 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 According to Sun Wun, who has learned this skill from his uncle since 1981 and began working as a blacksmith since 1993, if the bamboo handle can be guarded easily in advance, the forging process of the mental blade would not be the time consuming. He can forge up to 4 to 5 blades in one day. Until now, Son Won has been working as a blacksmith in Tatrai village, Predak Commune, Bante Srei district, Siembri province with his co-worker Chun Sok, who has also been working in this career for more than 20 years. One of the most difficult tasks in crafting this tool is finding a good bamboo for the handle. Ideally, the bamboo should be thick, solid and old enough. It should also present a curve on one end as it has to handle mental blade with comfort. Generally, blacksmith can either go look for the material themselves in the forest or buy from other merchants in the area. For family who use this tool frequently, they usually have a habit of collecting bamboo stick with good shape whenever they visit their farmland or forest. Knowing that it is very difficult to find suitable bamboo stick in many blacksmith workshops, it is not rare to see various bamboo stick being forcibly bent to fit the demand dimension. The stick must also be clean and drilled at the curvy end as to accommodate the mental blade later on in the process. When forging blade, either thick or thin, Long or short, the dimension can be created based on the customer preference, and that would make the price differ from one tool to another. The mental blade is slightly bent with a small crock at one end. The role of this crock is to keep a good grip between the mental strap and the blade. Drop a small steel ring in relation to the side of the bamboo that are put on top of each other in a crisscross fashion. 
Its function is to protect the blade from easily fly off when used and to hold the bamboo handle from breaking into pieces. In order to create this strap from mantle, blacksmith have to hammer the mantle rod into the shape of a ring. Then, the ring are foiled to seal the gap between the two ends. In addition, sand can also be used to increase the temperature as a way to better heat up the ring. This process is being done twice to assure the quality of the steel and this would take between 1 to 2 minutes each time. Before attaching the blade to the bamboo handle through the help of the strap, blacksmith have to use one flat tool called lead. Blacksmith would insert lead into the drill hole first as a way to position the strap with better precision. Later on, the blade can be inserted without misplacing the strap. A bit before the end process, in order to increase the quality of blade and keep the blade from breaking, blacksmith must heat up the blade and cool it down with water. If not, the blade can be brittle or soft. This is a precise process in which experts have to look at both the differences in blade temperature before it can be cooled down in water. If the cooling process is done incorrectly, the blade can also become brittle or soft. Lastly, to create the wedge, a small and short iron rod is forged. The wedge should have a quite a pointy head and less pointy rear. This already forged blade and wedge is inserted into the drill hole on the already strapped bamboo stick. Ultimately, the strap are tightened one last time to ensure a perfect fit. <laughs>